Our in-depth back-to-school coverage continues tonight with a look inside one district's aggressive plans to convert its aging buildings from among Rhode Island's worst to its best. And Pawtucket is asking for $24 million from voters in November to keep a decade-long plan going. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is here now with the details. The moment when Pawtucket parents and teachers realized something had to be done about their schools came at the end of the school year about four summers ago. A frightening sound came from a classroom in century-old Potter Burns Elementary. We heard a loud bang. We were trying to figure out where the bang came from. It was a plaster ceiling that came tumbling down in a classroom that was empty at the time. Everyone involved thankful no one was injured. But what it did bring us to is an awakening in the city about our old school buildings. First came Band-Aids after years of Band-Aids. Wood strapping on the ceilings in multiple schools to guard against other collapses. John Cody, the interim facilities director here, has been part of the school patching crew for 22 years and wondered if permanent solutions would ever materialize. If you would have asked me 10 years ago, I probably would have said, it's going to be tough because the money was never there. That started a change with state funding that was only possible with referendums okayed by taxpayers. Forty million in bonds have been approved so far. A $24 million bond referendum is on the November ballot, all aimed at potentially renovating every building in a district where 60% of the schools are over 50 years old. Potter Burns was built in 1919. About $14 million from a 2014 bond will be spent here, replacing the roof, the single pane windows, and the crumbling ceilings are part of the project. Plus, the ancient heating systems here and in other schools will be scrapped. The ceiling is said. Principal Cheryl McWilliams tells us the new heating and air conditioning will allow the district to get its money's worth by using the buildings even in the summer. It's probably 90-something degrees in here. So if we were running a summer program, yes, then the kids, their attentiveness is not going to be as rich as it is if we have air conditioning and fresh air. The 10-year plan in Pawtucket is pegged to cost about $250 million. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.